Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I am here starting my project for Blue Fern Studios, the Yuletide Collection. This gorgeous, gorgeous collection designed by Jen Bishop. Oh my gosh, it's been so hard to try and figure out what it is that I want to want to do with it because it's I I don't I don't want to cut it. I don't want to cut it, but I'm going to. I'm going to just dive in. And what we're going to do is a five ring binder journal. I found I had this one that's in green, so perfect for Christmas. We're going to maybe work on the cover of this a little bit. We'll get the book prepared and all of that. So, let's say hi and hug so we can get started. Hi and hugs to Mousy Deb, Angel Burba, Crafting and Relaxing, and Debbie. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to get to get uh, going on this. And for those of you who are following me on the Altered Books series, um, I'll, I'll be kind of going back and forth with these is what I'm thinking. Um, so this is going to be a start to finish series once again on my design team project and then um and then the altered book i'm i'm doing mostly on camera maybe a few things i'll do off camera but i will talk you through them because i know some are following along okay so this is the five ring binder um this is a 1956 binder and it's one of the you know the good better homes and gardens i almost said good housekeeping Ugh. So, I'm going to first take out all the pages. Um, I don't know if we're... We won't use any of the pages of this. We may use one of these. I don't know. I don't know. I usually leave some pages and I usually use all the... Um, all of these. But... Uh, that's because like this is a decorator um a decorator themed book and so i would i would make a decorating themed journal or garden book i would make a garden journal whereas this is christmas this is totally different so um so that's good we'll just we'll just get to it i've got my wet ones here and so what we're going to do first is kind of prepare the book because this little baby is dusty from being in somebody's shelf for years and years. Um, and I find these books at, once in a while you get lucky and find one at a thrift store. Um, antique stores. You can find them on Etsy. And my plan is to... Um, is to do at least 25 pages in this so that it could be used as a December daily if one wanted to or whatever. So just trying to get the dust off before, before we cover things. Um, doesn't matter if there's marks because I'm going to cover this anyway. I'm thinking to myself, no wonder I love pink and turquoise because it's apparently a 50s thing. 1956, this book is from. The year I was born. Okay. So let's... I don't know if I want this or not. I'll keep it over on my tray just in case. We'll see. Let's see how we do. Okay, now I'm just going to lightly go over the cover as well. I'm just, like the garden ones of these that I've done, I've just left them. You know, left the, left the cover as is, but I, seriously, I have a whole tub of these kind of books because I do love doing these kind of journals. And, um... I haven't done a journal like this 
for a Blue Ferns project. So I'm kind of excited about that. So um, what I was thinking is I have this Stamperia Mixed Media Art Cream Paste and it's in gold. And so I think I'm gonna go around the corners of this book. So let me, let me lay down my little drop paper here. I'm gonna get my sleeves up. I'm wearing a new shirt, so I don't wanna mess it up. I have an apron on. So theoretically, I should be okay. Uh, I won't swear to it, but theoretically. Okay, so I'm just gonna dip my finger and we're just gonna kinda just kinda go around the edge a bit randomly. And this cream paste will dry and make a a nice um what do I want to say sort of a buffer between the edges and the world. <laughs> okay. And I've picked out one of the papers that I think I'd like to use as, um, oops, got that a little thick, um, that I'd like to use as the cover. I'm going to go up this way too. Even though I'm planning, I'm hoping to use uh, maybe one of the laces on the spine. Okay, let's see, do this edge. Okay, I'm gonna leave that to dry a little bit. And, um, and then we'll do the other side. But I'll show you the paper that I'm planning to use. Um, let's just set this here to dry. Yeah. Okay, baby wipes. We'll do, we'll do the back side too, but I just want that to dry a little before I flip it over. This stuff comes off pretty easily. Of course, I got it down under my fingernail. <laughs> That's okay. Mixed media is not meant to be tidy. Okay, so this is... I'm going to use this as the front. And I have two pages. And so then I'm going to use this, this part as the back. That is my strategy. So let's see what size we want this. I'm just going to use a ruler and just kind of check it out here. So I'd like a little bit of the green to show. So I'm going to go nine and a half by seven and a half. Nine and a half by seven and a half. Um, I kind of want to keep my ruler because I'm going to need it again. Okay, nine and a half by ah, seven and a half. Just dropped it into where I was setting it. Okay, so we can do that while that's drying a bit. I'm going to take off the branding strip. And of course, as with all blue fern, papers the branding strip is decorative so I'll show you the show you when I get that off of there see it's all decorative so that goes back on the tray for another project okay so
So I want this seven and a half this away. So let's let's cut that seven and a half right there. Okay. Leaves a very fun little scrap to use, doesn't it? Do you see me just jump right in and cut that off as if it wasn't killing me? <laughs> but what good is the paper if we don't use it for our projects, right? That's what I think. Oh, look, that'd make a cute tag. Okay, so there is our front. I have a little more work I want to do to that. Let's do the back. We'll make it the same size, nine and a half by seven and a half. But you'll see, we're gonna, gonna do that differently. And we're gonna go seven and a half this way. Ooh. And get a bit of that birdie's beak and tail, but oh well. <laughs> Cannot be helped. Seven and a half by nine and a half. Okay. All right, so that's gonna be the back. Now, what I would like to do with these is I'd like to use my Tim Holtz um, edger thing and kind of just rough up the edges a bit so they're not so perfectly cut. Forgot what a mess this makes. You know what I'm going to do? Hang on one second. I'm going to grab my, grab my basket and do it in here. go all the way around here so I tell you about my day so far whilst I'm doing this well I went to get a haircut which was awesome I love my hairdresser she's a friend of my youngest daughter's from school and she's just a doll I've told you that before um, and then I had to I went by Joann's because I ordered some some um, storage bins on Amazon and said it was delivered and we were home all day that day and it was not. We did not get it. So I don't know if it was delivered to the wrong address or just what the deal was. But anywho, um, I really needed a couple. I needed one for my William Morris stuff, and I needed one for um, um, the Blue Fern Studios Seaside collection. I had a lot of stuff from that. So anyways, went to Joann's. It was like mm, about 10 to 11. Well, they don't open till 11 now because they don't have enough workers. Isn't that nuts? It's I, I don't understand what has happened that places can't get workers. I mean, I know it started with COVID, but, you know, all the relief stuff has already happened. So don't people have bills to pay? I just don't get it. But every single place in town has help wanted signs out, including Joann's. And uh, she said, she said they haven't had any applications in like three months. And I was like, Ooh. and the people who are working are being kind of worked to death. It's just like, oh my gosh, what has happened? So anyways, a lot of mad people came and went. <laughs> 
as I was standing there, it was like, well, I said, this one lady came and I said, they don't open till 11. And she goes, oh, and I said, well, it's only two minutes till 11. So, and she, and she goes, oh, <laughs> it's like, oh, that is so not something to be upset about lady in the grand scheme of things to have to wait two minutes. Oh my, this is a workout, guys. But, I'm getting it. Okay, so, my next decision is gonna be what color to distress the edges. And um, I'm kind of thinking about possibly a color and then vintage photo because I kind of like how that looks. So those look pretty good. I might... Did that one a little more. Okay. I'm going to set those aside and let's see if our cover looks mostly dry. I have a little glob right there, but I like the texture of that. So I kind of want to leave that. So I'm just going to kind of try and do this with it. I don't want to set it down. Let's go like that for a second. Okay, so do a bit on here. Hopefully I'm not too much up in your face doing this. But I will say, while I was standing there, waiting my 10 minutes to go into Joanne's, there was kind of this, this guy came up that was a little bit, um, a little bit questionable looking. <laughs> and it made me kind of nervous because there was no one else around out front. And... He didn't, I mean, he didn't have a coat on and it's cold here and he was kind of, kind of spooky looking, a little um, disheveled, shall we say. And uh, yeah, I was a little bit nervous, but it was fine. And he did go into Joanne's, I have no idea what he bought. Maybe like a candy bar or something was it. I don't know. So, okay. I'm going to set this so hopefully we don't stick to anything. Okay, I think that's it with the cream paste. So I'll set that aside, get, well, got this one. Kind of got it all over myself that time. Did not get it all over my page though. Oh. Okay. Sorry, you're having to watch me clean up. Okay, but I don't want to get that gold all over everything. Okay, so I'm going to set my paper aside. And we're going to figure out what we want to do to... I'm feeling like red and then maybe some vintage photo. Let's see. I don't want green because I don't know 
if the green would complement or not the cover. So we'll just use red. That's easy, or easy enough. Getting little, getting a few bits from roughing that up. And then we'll just, I'm kind of trying to come out a little bit onto the paper. And then what we'll do is um, do the edges, the edges, edges with uh, Vintage Photo. So let's do this one. <laughs> I'm getting little crumbs in my Distress Oxide here. job of getting it onto the paper on this one I think okay um <laughs> those little little bits off of there okay now I have myself a little bit of a clean off okay now let's do our vintage photo just on the edge. Oh yeah, that's going to look good. Those roughed up edges really take the ink nicely. up my brand new distress ink sponge. I just ordered some more of these dome ones. I like them so much better than the, the little flat sponges. They just last a lot longer. Okay, now I have grits everywhere. Okay. I'm just gonna. <laughs> this is out of my to do box, but I just thought I could maybe get the. Yeah, I'm getting the. The grits off of there. Okay, back we go. All right. Okay. Now, is our cover dry enough? I don't know. So, I think what I'll do is put it like that. I'm going to grab my ruler again, and we're going to do our inside pages just while we're waiting for this to dry. So, ooh, we've got... I need to write this down. Nine and a half plus two ticks. <laughs> That's how I measure. <laughs> because I don't know. 
Okay, and then this one will be seven and three quarters. That's a little easier. Okay. Drying pretty well. That's a scoop. Okay. Um, did I get the right size? No. Okay. It's getting dry though, so it's good. All right. So um, let's figure out what we want on the inside, and and we'll get them cut. Um. Okay, let's look at our gorgeousness here. Okay, so keeping in mind, these are gonna be the front. I do kinda like the door. It's like, welcome to your journal. <laughs> okay, so there's that. That's gorgeous. It's birds, so. I mean, I feel like this is closer in color. This has the birdies. So those are possibilities. No to this one. No to this one. No to that one. Oh, that one's really cute, too. The birds. Mmm. Yep, I think I'm going to use this one. I did pre-order this um, this pack, so I'm anxious for that one to get here too. Let's see here. Let's take off the the this. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. I'm gonna have to decide what we're putting on the back because this one. Sorry, I'm having trouble lining it up. There we go. Because definitely want it to be square. So, ooh, that's got a little plaid on it. That's fun. Um, okay, we're going seven and three quarters this way, which is right there. Okay, and then we are going nine and a half and two ticks. <laughs> Very scientific. Okay, so that's going to be the front inside page. I was thinking of using the same one. How far over would that go? Don't want to, no. I mean, I could use the back, which is beautiful too. Let's do that. Let's use this side of the back. Okay, I'm just going to take off the strip first. Talk about doing two very different projects at the same time right now. Um, but isn't that fun? Seven and three quarters. And nine and a half and two ticks. Nine and a half and two ticks. Right here. Ooh, that would make a pretty tag too. And so that will be, the, no, this will be the back. Yes, I like that. Okay. The only trouble is, is I, I cut off one of my birds. Oh, well. 
I can buy more paper, right? I can buy more. Okay, now I don't, I guess I'm going to do red again and then the um, vintage photo. But I'm not going to rough up the edges on the inside. I want it to be flush to the book. So... this one. Okay. It's much faster without it being uh, roughed up. Now, um, as far as the cover goes, once I get these papers on, I'm not sure where I'm going from there. <laughs> Haven't thought that far ahead. Okay. All right, so let's see how we're doing here. Are we? dry at least the front is which is going to be this one Let's see so that's gonna just go right on there with more stuff I don't know what yet okay so I am going to just glue all around the edges. Gosh, I ordered new art glitter glue and it's not going to be shipped until November. Got a back order on art glitter glue. Seems like a lot of stuff is back ordered and or on the cargo ships that are still out in the ocean waiting to come in. See, I just I, I just don't understand where all the labor force went. What do you guys think? I just don't know. I mean, I realize for a while people were getting really good benefits, but from, you know, from the government, but it's like, well, you know, you would think with businesses closing because of, you know, COVID basically putting them out of business, you would think all those workers need somewhere to go, so they would, I, I don't know, I don't understand it, but then I'm not... I'm not very smart about those kind of things anyway. Am I straight? I think I'm straight. Where's my little card? Okay. Okay, there is the front. I was kind of thinking, you know, I do like to do some embossed chipboard on these. I was kind of thinking about this on there. Now that it's cut, would it fit though? I wasn't sure. big but I might 
That one could be nice right there, couldn't it? I didn't get my embossing stuff out, so I'll have to do that next time we work on this. But that and then something there. Like there's um there's a few like words and things. It's not too bad. It's just looking at what other words that one's probably gonna be. Well, there's one that says greetings that might be good. Always fun to kind of look at the ephemera anyway. Look at those old skates. Isn't that cool? Nope. Where's the greetings? Whoa. There's the Merry Christmas. Is this the greetings? Yeah. Oh, and there's joy as well. I feel like it's too small. I like the greetings because it has red in it. I actually like the size of this best though. I think that's what we're going to ultimately put on there with some backing and stuff probably. But I get ahead of myself. We need to cover all the other surfaces of our cover. Okay, trying to get things in perfectly, Gail. Okay, so these we're gonna set aside because those will be those will be for next time. I'll just pop them in the basket there. Okay, that is adhering nicely. That makes me happy. Yeah. Okay, so let's put this one on. Oh, hopefully I didn't leave that too long. Oh, she's still coming out, at least for now. I could also do, I could do fabric behind that sign. And I've got that silky ribbon stuff that um, came with this collection. Okay. All right, so now that is going to go about right there, I think about the same. Okay. And the back, I'm going to leave just plain because, you know, it's the back. I think. Unless, unless something hits me that I think I need to do to it. Okay. So there's those two. Let's do the innards. So this is going to go here. And I am just going to leave this, this part pink. I think it'll look just fine. So let's get this glued in. I'm excited. We're making progress. This is sort of the utilitarian part covering the covering the binder and but now we'll get to we'll get to decorate make some fun pages All right So now I'm getting this lined up. I'm going to just 
line out of this corner. So, this way a little bit. Oh, art glitter glue gives you no wiggle time. Well, it's gonna do. It's gonna do, and I think it's just fine. Just spread that glue out underneath a bit. Okay, so there's that. And then we're gonna have this. And that is gonna be really nice because, I mean, we could put a pocket in the back if we wanted to hold, hold the bits and pieces that would be used in this journal. I've been kind of saving my blue fern projects in case there is a creativation and in case I am able to go. Um, and in case blue, blue fern has a booth there. Um, a lot of in cases, but um, because they do like to have some examples of things made with their papers, but um, this one, I'm thinking, would I want to haul this on an airplane? <laughs> Probably not. So I might just, might just go ahead and put this one on my Etsy after I do all my obligations for the design team. Oh my gosh, that paper is so pretty. Okay, so, so there's our binder now. It's all blue fernied, blue fernied up. Okay, um, one thing I could do is I want to put this on just for reference. Yeah, I'll have it like that. This will be like this. And what I'll show you that this is what I was thinking is this behind this. I am going to distress this. I'm not going to color it. I kind of like the white. It brings out the white in the birds and stuff, but I do want the edges to be distressed. Okay, let's just see what this red might be like. I don't know. It might be too much. But then again, maybe not. Okay, so let's... I'm going to cut it. I don't use it here. I'll use it somewhere. Maybe it just needed to go down further, which covers up a couple berries at the bottom, but that's okay. Maybe about there. Okay, and then I, I did want to look at lace for the spine and see if there was something that called out to me there. 
Let's see. Lacy wise, what we have. Okay. So we have that. Not wide enough. This, not wide enough. Um. You know what I could do, though, is to use one of my own laces, you know, and then I could put that red down the middle of it or something. This is an antique lace. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so do I want to put that on yet? I don't think so. I'm just going to... Once again, pop these back into the basket so that next time I'll grab all the embossing stuff, you know. Okay, so let's do this. Let's, let's open this out for a second. And let's take a look at this one. And it goes this way. I really like the width of that because I still want a little bit of the green to show, I think. Okay, I'm going to snip this so that the bottom is straight. And this one right about there. Okay. And, okay, so then my thought is, what if I took this one, Lay 76, it's called. What if I took this one and went down in the middle of that? one this is the right side like so down the middle oh you know what I love about Christmas is you just can't get too too fancy can ya <laughs> more is more is better in Christmas time okay that's what we're gonna do and I'm going to that. Okay. Now, I'm going to use Fabri-Tac. Hoping, hoping my nails won't suffer, but, you know, sometimes you just got to sacrifice for your art, don't you? Okay, let me get my spatula. My grubby spatula needs to needs to have a cleaning. But I think it will work just fine. Okay. Okay, Fabritacky. You're up. Hopefully, I'm in the general vicinity of where this is going to lay down. Oh, this is fun. want it to be good and glued because you know it's a spine it's gonna get it'll get a little wear and tear
Okay. Okay. Now for this one, it is like this. Okay, so let's see. I have one. Okay, so that is the middle right here. Come on. I'm just going to go with three lines of glue here. And that should do it. Okay, and now I think I'm going to go back and put a little under some of these leaves. Come on. Oh my gosh. Get down in there. <laughs> no patience waiting for the Fabri-Tac. My husband would say no patience in general. He'd probably be right, but I should say it's not my strong suit, you know? Can't be good at everything. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, this is good. Get these little leaves down. There we go. All righty. All right, so there we are there. So we need to let that, let that settle in and dry. I'm happy so far, I'm happy. Um, and then I wanna just put all kinds of pages in it. Let's let's look at some pages. Maybe we there's something we can get cut out here. We've got a little bit of time left. So let's see. Let me gather my scraps together from the whole cover situation. Okay, and then I have have my template for my pages so you know we can kind of look and see it like I mean that it's like perfect size absolutely perfect that needs to be a page <sighs> I'm gonna lose most of that but that's okay and then we will have used that page okay let's just Let's do a little cutting, get a few pages kind of ready to go. Um, I do perhaps, I don't know that this one, but okay. I'm just talking to myself as I'm thinking through the various papers. Ooh, pretty. Okay, so. I'll just use this and make tick marks and that will be my I think this one's just gonna be a single page and here okay
and once again, when I cut my papers, I leave the biggest remnant, if, if you know what I mean. So if I cut up here, I'm gonna have a 12 inch strip. This way, I'm gonna have a, whatever this is, five inch strip. So if that makes sense, that's, that's what I try to do. And then this one will be right here. And then I have like a card size. Oh, pretty card, pretty tag. Okay, so there's that one. Isn't that perfect for a page? Oh my good grief. So then what I'll do is just use my template, grab my hole punch. I should probably empty my hole punch. Oh yeah, <laughs> there were a few hundred in there. Okay, and then I just will do the hole punches. My holes are a little off because I've used this template many times. So there we go. There is a page. It just needs to be distressed. So we won't we won't do that on camera. But um, I do think that some I might want to fold and have them be see like this one. That one might have to be a page page. And this one as well, page page. This one might be a good one to fold over. So if it goes to there. See, I'm not gonna want it to go over the over the holes if I if I fold it over. And I'm thinking what I could do is this side could be here and then I could fold over this side. I think we have time. Let's let's um let's just try that for fun. Okay, so so we want well, let's get rid of the branding strip first. Okay. Ooh, that's a pretty one, too. And then... Okay, and so then what we're going to do is we're only going to mark the top and cut off the top. Cut the top. Like so. That's going to make a couple of really cool tags. Look at the back. Oh, love it. Okay. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to take my scoreboard. And we are going to, let's see here. Let me think if I'm folding it that way. Yeah, this is the side we want to do. Okay. I'm going to go one notch over because I'm just, it's just slightly... It's like in between two lines. So I'm just going to do this one. Okay. And then we'll do our holes. And of course, there's going to be decorating that happens and um, pockets and whatnot. But I just thought 
we had a couple extra minutes, we'd do just a couple pages for the fun of it. Page bases, let's call them. Okay, so this goes like this. And then we're going to fold this over. Perfect. See, it doesn't it doesn't go over the holes. So, doesn't that make a stunning page? So this will be in the book, open this way. So we'll put pockets and, and stuff like that in there. Then that, and then you turn the page and it's like this. Now I could see putting a little side pocket right there. So there'll be much page decorating in our future. So maybe what I'll do is off camera, I'll go ahead and um, get these inked. And then that's a place to start. Oh, no. When we start next time, we'll do the embossing and finish off the cover. Finish off, you know, the, the um, chipboard and getting that on. And then our cover will be done. And so then we can go from there. So see these little these little pages are just gonna go in like this. And um, we'll be using all sorts of paper too, like coffee dyed paper and, and various other papers to make different pages. Super fun project, I love it. So. Thank you, Jen Bishop, for being a genius. That's all I have to say. And thank you, Blue Fern, for recognizing it and putting her on your team. <laughs> so there we go, guys. That was super fun. I had fun. I hope you had fun. So have a grateful day, and we will just see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.